Hello everyone, thanks for joining me again today. I'm on the banks of the Peace River today to show you a product that I've tried at home and also on one of my kayak camping expeditions I did. And that product is the Sawyer All-in-One Filter. So sit back and enjoy the review. Okay, let me show you what's in what comes in the box. What makes it an all-in-one filter is you can use the Sawyer squeeze bottle that comes with the kit, and that's like what all the Sawyers that we're uh, familiar with have in this kit. Also, you can screw it onto a water bottle or a two-liter bottle. It fits those just like the regular Sawyer. But the extra things here that this kit comes with is an adapter for your spigot at home. Also, when you add a 5-gallon bucket, or in my case, I have a 2-gallon bucket for um, ease of transport in my um, kayak, you can use it to filter large amounts of water by gravity out of the river. Okay, so the filter itself is this larger size. And it has this adapter where you can hook a hose to it or you can unscrew this and screw it onto the two liter bottle or the water bottle that we're familiar with. On the other end is one of these deals, this little valve where you can open it and dispense the water out of it. And the kit comes with one of these extra, the white cap. And also you can hook a hose coming out of this to hook it in line with your hydration bladder also. And the kit also has an extra one of these gray adapters that comes with it just in case something happens to this one. Also, there's this handy hook, which you'll see here in just a minute. What makes this nice is for hooking on the side of your bucket when you get the water out of the river or the lake. It slips onto here like this. So you can hang this on the side of the bucket and keep it up out of the dirt. So I think that's a nice little item to add to the kit. Okay, so what I did for my kayak trip, because my, my boat was pretty full of camping gear and things like that, that I decided to use a two gallon Lowe's bucket with the handle to use as my filtering. And in the kit also comes a, a small paddle bit that you can use to drill this hole out. They tell you to drill it about an inch from the bottom. So I measured from the inside, not the outside, because there's a there's a lip here, and measured an inch up and drilled this hole. And the reason for that is, is the lakes and the rivers that you get this water out of have sediment in them naturally. And after I uh, gathered the water, I would let it sit a little bit and allow the sediment to settle to the bottom and it kept my filter from getting clogged up very quickly. So the kit also comes with this piece. It has a nut right here and two seals like that. These are rubber and it inserts in here like this. So let me put that together and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's the bucket with the with the adapter installed. There's one white rubber seal on this side and the rubber hose that goes down to our filter. And then on the inside is the other seal. You can see it there, the white seal and then the black nut that secures it in place. Another little feature I think is nice is when your filter is hanging, and I, I, I would hang this from a tree just high enough to to um, put my water bottle underneath it so I had to stand there and hold it. It's got this little extra piece of plastic here made onto it to keep the hose from being pulled and pinched in two. So that keeps the, the uh, water flowing freely down to your filter. 
So then you just simply go down and dip you up some water, try to try to keep it out of the sand, and get the best sample you can inside here, and that will make your filter last longer between back flushes. So hold the filter up out of the water. Okay, so what I did is I just used a piece of cordage to tie it to a tree. And you can set this to any height you want so it makes it convenient. So you can just set your bottle right on the ground and this hose will go right into the top of your bottle. And then uh, let it sit for probably, I would guess, 30 minutes or so before you try to use it. So the sediment has time to settle to the bottom of the bucket. Um, if you don't, you're going to be back flushing your filter a lot more. So after that, it's just as simple as taking the filter off, pulling out on the cap, and letting it hang, and you get fresh, clean water to, to fill up your canteens and stuff. Now, I want to say that this was a pretty effective system on my kayak camping trip because my friends all had the regular Sawyer with the bag, and this was a lot more convenient for especially a larger group like we had everybody used my filter see now it's flowing really nice everybody in camp was using my filter to get all their water because it was just more convenient hanging from a tree to get it and then you just have to just wait out like you saw me do and refill the bottle every one or the bucket every once in a while so now I'm going to take you to my house where I'm going to show you the adapter for the uh, faucet to use in your home. Okay, we've made it to my house and we're in my kitchen. And I wanted to show you one of the reasons why this filter is so handy around the house. The other day, we got one of these. Precautionary water boil notification from our city. Apparently there was a um, water break that was happened down the street or there or some kind of construction or something so we had to boil our water for about two and a half three days before we got the notification it was okay to drink so <clears throat> this filter system really comes in handy for that and you will need the actually the, the filter itself you'll need this adapter that screws onto the end and you need this guy which is a hose attachment that fits onto your faucet into your kitchen. So let me show you that real quick. Okay, so you need to start with a clean container that you're going to filter your water into. In this case, I have a pitcher. And just to uh, make this simpler so you can see it, I'm going to move this out of the way, put it over here. Then you need to take your Sawyer filter, hook up your gray adapter here, and then hook up the hose just like that for your faucet adapter okay take off your cap pull out the sports bottle style uh, valve here then you want to fit it up here now this thing has kind of got this uh, it doesn't have a lip that this can grab a hold of see how this has a hole there and it's hollow in there an outside faucet would work even better where you could put it over where the hose connection goes and it would hold it even better but with this one all you gotta do is just hold it up there okay and then the trick now is I'm gonna try to do this so you can see it is don't turn the water on too much your water pressure from your house will will actually blow the hose off of there and uh, make a big mess so I'm just basically holding it right here with my hand hope you can see that all right simple as that so this comes in really handy 
of course, if you get a boil notice, but what if your power is out from like a storm or something and the water is contaminated also from flooding or, or, or what, it, what have you, you would, without this filter, you would use a lot of your propane or fuel and time to boil your water up so you could drink it. So this makes it a lot simpler and a lot easier for your home. So this is the Sawyer all-in-one filter. I would recommend it to anybody who likes to go out to uh, kayak camp, uh, car camping in remote areas where you can use that bucket. Also, for your home kit, in case of a disaster or a problem with your water like I had, you can uh, use it to, um, to provide water for your family. So if you like this video, I would ask you to, to click subscribe now and follow me. I try to put out as many videos as I can on reviews like this. I like uh, camp cooking videos. I like uh, military surplus videos, especially canteens and mess kits. So, um, uh, kayak fishing videos, things like that. So, take a look at my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you so much for your time and have a great day.